Hi everyone, Scorpios, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I don't know where was I. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the action. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, welcome to the channel, Scorpios. Um, before we start, there was a star card and tower. Um, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of awakening that you might go through and you realize something that you are lucky or something like that. A big change for the positive. Well, you guys know that you guys are always changing anyway. You guys are the natural house of changes. <laughs> So I hope that you guys have seen already the previous uh, readings where I don't have to exp uh, explain for now. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay? So, um, I uh, don't need to, okay? Just check the other videos so that we can proceed right away. Okay. So also, um, this is always going to be Vedic Sidereal Astrology. If there is a Wheel of Fortune, we do predict time through transit. Just letting you guys know. And I always do that in extended. I match it with a tarot. Okay? So, are we ready? Let's begin. Okay, Scorpios. Okay, the full moon is happening in between Scorpio and Sag. Just letting you know. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. What's going on for the Scorpios? Ready. There we go. Let's see. The moon card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just draw the cards and I said full moon happening in your zodiac. Seven to eight cards. The moon came out. I told you something, something is going to come to an awakening. Something is going to be revealed because it's a full moon. I believe it's happening. Uh, it's going to be happening in Purnamia. Purnamia. I don't know if I can pronounce it correctly. On the 15 itself. Okay. Um, let me just go through the chart over here if I can open it. Um, I, I was uh, expecting this to be an... Uh, let me see. Okay, I have to go to... Oh, it's not working properly. Okay, but the moon, of course, it's going to go into Scorpio Sag. It's in Gandanta zone. So the way it works, uh, karmic knots, spiritual knots, that is happening. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's in Anuradha right now. Okay, up to January, June 15, 1037. I'm looking at the dates. Okay. Um, upcoming nakshatra. I'm going to look into the nakshatra itself when it's going to hit you. The moon will enter Mula nakshatra on June 16, 11.14 p.m. Okay. And then it's going to be there until okay, um, 11.44 a.m. on June 17. So those are uh, very important because then it's going to go, of course, to... Um, okay. Mm, let me see here. Yeah. Okay. So the way it works from what I'm seeing here is that um, the change that is happening, um, it's a big revelation on what is this person really towards you. Of course, it can be Pisces as the moon in Taurus ruled by Pisces, okay? Um, but the energy-wise also here, um, it can be Cancerian because the Cancerians are ruled by the moon. It's about the mind and the emotion and the feelings, okay? So it's going to come out. It's going to be in full blossom awakening. That's what I'm sensing here. Okay. Oh, and I didn't know that well, Mulanak Shatter is ruled by K2. Okay. So it can be, um, how to say this? You get to know them more clearly. Like totally, I feel here. Let me see what's going on here. Seven day cards. And I said full moon. It's right here. Mm -hmm. Next to the moon card. Emperor. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. <laughs> Now, very fiery, Mars energy, Aries or Scorpio. This can be you, okay? Because the Venus is, uh, you know, emperor, Empress, so Libra Taurus. Mars, okay, so I made it balance. Mars is ruled, uh, rules uh, Aries and Scorpio. So you are this energy also. What you will find out is this is banging. That's what I say. Okay. This is a person who's strong-willed. This is a, it's just like, let me sweep you off your feet. I, they have a strong desire to make it right. Okay, Emperor Ram, of course, st stubborn, distant, of course. This is what you're going to call them. This is what other people call the Emperor. The Emperor is always just doing what is right. I feel like this is about coming into union closely. Okay, let me see here. Next to the Emperor, Queen of Coins. Okay, someone has been chasing the King and Queen of Coins today. 
Okay, Capricorn energy, ready to settle down, ready to be with you. If you are the queen, feminine energy, emperor, emperor, they look at you like it's like you are so desirable. Okay. Let me see here. Next to the queen of coins. Okay. Let me see here. Nine of coins. Very confident. Okay. I feel like this person is uh, single, ready. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's also healthy. You know, it's like this is someone who you would want to move in with also, Scorpio. Let me see here. I feel like this person will reveal their feelings towards you and they will start to not just chase, but show the drive, show the intention, okay? Next to the Nine of Coins. Two of Cups. What I told you, if I see the Wheel of Fortune over here, a big revelation. Mm. Scorpios. It's going to be revealed, this full moon. Okay. I hope I got my, my because I don't have my glasses. I hope I got it correctly. Yes. Scorpio Saturn. No. Okay. Here it is. This is the foundation star. This is the dig deeper into it, the root of causes, the problems facing that you guys will have all the things that you were trying to heal and and uh, you know unravel the deep connection. It's coming out the full full circle. Mm, you see the circle there? Mm. This is I believe this is Venus in Cancer also here. Okay. Next to the Two of Cups. You will, I feel like you guys will be together over here. Love will be expressed here. Can be Cancer and also Scorpios. King of Coins. And I told you, the King and Queen of Coins have been um, chasing each other the whole Zodiac. A lot of people will be partner. Ah, it's interesting because this Nakshatra is not even... Uh, it's, I know, it's the thing is, if it's ruled by K2, okay, it's unfinished business from the past. Okay, like past life. K2 is where we didn't finish. We're trying it to finish this lifetime. Rahu is things that we haven't explored. We have to learn this lifetime. This person, this karmic knot in its Gandanta zone, this is what you will face. It's wonderful, it's amazing. I'm going to continue this reading as two people finally realize their love and intention to commit to each other. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Link down there in the description box. I'm going to continue this reading with a full more full moon revelation. And if I swear, if I see that Wheel of Fortune, I will do your time prediction, Scorpios. Okay? So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Click down there. Next to this, wonderful, amazing, is a revelation. It's coming. Uh -huh. Um, next to this is our invite for our, my upcoming August meetup in LA. So always turn your notification on as um, we will announce soon the dates. I'll see you guys again. Bye, Scorpios. Hi, Scorpios. So there was a timed event. If you resonate 100%, I will show little clips of what happened and how magical. From the time that we started in YouTube, the moon card all the way to the last card that we ask and we check and we try to see when, you will be surprised. If it's not gonna surprise you, I don't know what else because I am still shaking over here with how much, how much we have seen through the time that we have predicted, again, from the start to the last part of the date that we tried, you know, and you will see how much and on the clip, okay? So if you resonate 100%, I feel like this is the last time I feel like you will watch a reading from me and then you will have all the closure, or not, not closure, closure, or all the confidence that you need that you have been seeking for. It's amazing, Scorpios. And I'm happy to be Scorpios. I'll see you guys. So stay tuned. It's the clip. Watch the clip. It's amazing. Bye, guys. Under the Two of Cups. The Lovers. Um, Hello. Un Wheel of Fortune, guys. They've been praying for us. It would live... A gift towards you that's what it normally does so from your partnership house let's see what Venus is gonna give to you here we go
You can't change how the universe made you. People don't change. People can't change. The same way you can't change your destiny. You will be where you are meant to be and you will become who you are meant to become. But divination cards, crystals, and guided meditation coupled with understanding and acceptance of who you are will help you make your journey happy and fruitful. That's what all this is about, to help people get to where they want to be. A journey that is remarkable. After all, a destiny is where the sweet end lies. There is nothing that follows after that but your journey. That happens every day. In the end, that's what counts. Take, for example, an impatient person. You can never be patient. You can change how you respond to people who are testing your patience. But you cannot be patient by nature. Perfect example would be in an office. There is no getting away from people that whines or complains or criticize just for the sake of criticizing. There will always be gossips and people who can't seem to just mind their own business. This is when we tap to the energy of the universe and the energy of nature. These are things that we have been given. Pyrite is for calming down. Rose quartz to fight aggression. Hematite for the mind. The other thing to consider is that you can't always surround yourself with these crystals when you are working. That's why we make accessories. The energy stays with you all the time. Eat, read, love accessories are both to make us feel and look beautiful. Crystals and accessories are also cleansed and charged. A rose quartz is a crystal of love. But love may be attached to so many other intentions. When I charge crystals, I amplify it with a specific intention. There are also many places in the US or in the world, for that matter, that has a vortex or forces, but there are very few that have the purest of energy. My home prior to LA was Santa Fe, and it was that energy that made that final push for me to where I am right now and what I do. Tibet and the Philippines also have those energies. Meditation is almost a daily activity for me. While my body rests and recharges when I sleep, my soul recharges when I meditate. It is when I meditate that I truly see who I am and what is really in my soul. I encourage everyone to do the same. The fact is that nothing in this world can make your life better or can make you better unless you allow yourself to be better. And I am here as your guide, but nothing will work unless you allow it to work. So it starts with you. You may not be able to change your destiny. You may not be able to change who you are, but you can always control your journey.